Exodus 7, verse 1. I want you to get this. The Bible says, God said to Moses, say, See, I've made you a God unto Pharaoh. Are you getting this? It says, I've made you a God unto Pharaoh. It says, Aaron, your brother, shall be thy prophet. And then God said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and speak to him and so on and so forth. And when you study the word of God, each time Moses went into the presence of Pharaoh to minister the word of God, Pharaoh did not listen. All right? Pharaoh did not listen. And it seemed as though each time he went to Pharaoh, the life of the Israelites became worse. All right? It was worsened. Now, Moses could have been discouraged. He could have been discouraged. And say, but Lord, this is not working. All right. At some point, he was discouraged, but he never quit. I'm saying this for you to understand. When God was sending him, God gave him a word. God said, "I've made you a God unto Pharaoh." You that is listening to this, that is a word that God spoke to you. That is something He has said to you. Either he spoke to you directly in an audible voice or he spoke to you in your spirit or he spoke to you in a dream or through his prophet or through his word. But there is something that God has said to you which when you are faced with trials you ought to go back to what he said. Are you getting this now? You ought to go back to what he said and say, okay, Lord, what did you say to me? So in the case of Moses, God said, I've made you a God unto Pharaoh. So you are much far more superior to Pharaoh. So whatever he may say to you, he's just trying to frighten you. He's just trying to intimidate you. But you must understand he's beneath you. And using this illustration, I want you to understand, child of God, the scripture says in, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, it says, God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can handle. So anything that comes your way is beneath you. I wish you got this. Anything that comes your way is what is beneath you. But the devil will try to be aggressive, to get you intimidated, so you lose your foothold. But I want you to understand, God has made you, God has made you a God to that situation. He has put you in charge. The Bible says we are seated in Christ, far above heavenly, far above principalities and powers. So you are in Christ, in the heavenly places. Whatever you are faced with is beneath you. If you can have that understanding, you will face the challenge head on with confidence, boldness and faith the bible says god said to joshua be strong and of good courage when you are strong and courageous you do exploit every great man in the scripture was strong and they faced their challenge david faced his challenge and he overcame daniel faced the lions faced the the lions then refused to stop praying Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the graven image. They faced the challenge of the fiery furnace, and they won. As a child of God, the battles of life cannot defeat you. So don't run from them. Run toward them with a mindset of victory. And here, this child of God, you will overcome. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will. He hears us. And His will for you is what? Dominion, victory, excellence. Whatsoever is born of God, First John 5, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So child of God, you are more than a conqueror. Go ahead and conquer the world. Share this and be a blessing to someone. Remember, you are loved by God, saved by grace. And empowered to prosper. You are gracified, completely gracified in Jesus' mighty name.